we had the opportunity of touring Frank Oliguri's farm and he is a picture of success and he's been working very hard and when we first started with him the penetrometer was his enemy now it's his friend because he can go all the way down with less than 200 psi what has that meant to him he went from an average carbon to nitrogen ratio in like what we see on most farms most farms are eight or a 10 to one carbon and nitrogen. Frank has achieved the level of 25 to one. His nitrogen use is almost nothing. He buys virtually no synthetic nitrogen and his water use has been reduced by about 50%. How can that be? Simple, open up the ground, let the air get in there. There's carbon, there's oxygen, there's nitrogen. It's the atmosphere, get it in your soil, take a breath, relax, open it up and the soil will help you. Number two, irrigation reduction, carbon. He's, got, he's increased his carbon and nitrogen all the way up to 25 to one. That's almost compost, fellas. That holds water, that reduces his irrigation costs. And what he has also seen, is his crop, his tree crops, almonds, walnuts, olives, grapes. In tree crops, you have a good year and a down year. A good year, down year, good year, down year. He says, I want a good year every year. How do I do that? It's like the majority of this crop on a dry matter basis is carbon and oxygen, 90%. When you increase the level of that, you will have a good year every year. You can maintain a healthy yield on a perennial tree crop every year by harnessing the carbon and oxygen with available calcium and good clean phosphorus. It's the natural way to heal your ground.